This demonstration is to show you how to run a task from another location. The idea behind this is that we can write a task which lives on one device and trigger that task from another device. I'm going to use the example of the midnight snack which we created in the sequential task demonstration and we'll pretend that each of the panels in my training case are for the bedside panels. So we can have a task that lives on one panel and we can call it from both panels. What's the benefit of doing this? I'm only writing the task in once, which is an efficient use of my time. If I come back to the task in two years, then I only have to edit one place, which is also efficient. And thirdly, I am only using one task on one panel. OK, the term which we use to do this trick is either a trigger message or a dummy message. So if you hear either of those terms, this is the kind of thing we're doing. We have our task already written from the other demonstration, so all I need to do is to type my dummy command message in. So I will write start, then open brackets, and I make up an area number that doesn't exist. So today I'll pick 199 because I know it doesn't exist. Then I pick a preset, I'll pick 1 because it's easy. So I'll type in that and close the brackets. Save this to the device. OK, now on the panel that has no code in it, I can configure a button to send an Area 199 preset 1 message. What is going to happen is, we send those variables from this panel, and the code on the other panel hears it and then starts the task. So let's test it. OK, great work. See how I can run the task from both panels? Notice if I do it this way though, the LEDs don't track on the physical panel. I can easily fix this if I change the original panel to also send the dummy trigger message. Let's do that. I'll change it to Area 199 Preset 1. Save that to the device and let's test and look at the LEDs on the physical panel's track. 